The Cardinals are underdogs in every game this coming year. This is according to DraftKings, by the way. Wow, every game. Can you imagine if they went 0-17? They'd be the first team in the history to go 0-17. Oh, because of the extra game Because now? of the extra game. Yeah, I was about to say there's 0-16, but it hasn't Not been 0-17. Because they added the extra game, what, two years ago? Yeah, something like that. So, the Cardinals. I don't like that. What do you think? I, I They should have went to 18. Make it even. I mean, it's hard because... You get rid of another preseason game. They get rid of pregame. You got rid of one pregame, get rid of another one. Just have two 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 pregames. It's hard to say because football is very taxing on the body. But you have mini camps. You have all kinds. You already know what you, you know. I don't know. You might be right. You might need three. But what if you can do it in two? You know? Mm -hmm. You have taxi squads anyways. You have, you know, players that you keep on your taxi squad that you that need to practice against your players. You know. I almost want to believe that there should be at least two bye weeks for each team. Just because how taxing. No, it should be because of the eight, 17 games. It should be 18 games and then do the two bye weeks. Two bye, sure. Okay, I agree with that. It's just, it's very taxing. I mean, at the end of the season, there's so many players hurt. True. And it changes the dynamics of what the playoffs is going to look like. Let's be honest. It screws up our fantasy football teams. It does. It really does. You know, your your first pick gets hurt <laughs> week one. You're like, damn it. Uh huh. That waiver wire sucks. Yeah, it, it, it does. All the mock drafts you looked at, you studied. It was for nothing. <laughs> yeah, it <was> wasted time. <laughs> it was for nothing. Uh, I mean, we can go over the Cardinals schedule. Let's, yeah, let's go over the schedule. What you think if they're gonna win or not? Oh, beautiful. Week one at Washington Commanders. Do you like the name Commanders? Yeah, I can live with it. It's not my team, so I don't care. I mean, you could shorten and call them the commies. Washington wow. Commies. <laughs> wow. The Washington commies. Yeah, that's 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 Danny for you. But yeah, oh, and all the rival teams are going to use that now. Yeah. Cowboy fans, there you go. Commies, there, I love it. There's one for you right there, Cowboy fans. I love it. So, <laughs> no, I think I, I think commies sucks. That's like a horrible nickname, you know? <laughs> You should have just stayed at the Redskins if you're going to call them Something the Com- patriotic. Did you not think about it when you said the commanders? Let's call let's be the commanders. You didn't think of No nicknames? one in the office in that round table said, they might call us the commies. <laughs> or Danny Ivan just ruined it for everyone. He just ruined the team. They're going to change their name again. <laughs> uh, they're they're going to lose. That's a loss. Because Kyler Murray's not going to play for the first like four weeks. Oh, should, should we just write off the first four weeks? Let's who, well... Giants, Week one yeah, for sure. Giants are probably going to beat them. Cowboys Giants at home. Them. Giants at home. So yeah, we'll lose that. Cowboys at home. Yeah, we talked about Dak. They're gonna. They're gonna. Definitely... There's more Cowboy fans who show up to the Cardinal Stadium. That yeah, than... sucks. My wife's a Cowboys fan. Right? Jesus. San Francisco rival team at San Fran. Good team, up and coming. They're gonna crush them. They're gonna crush them. Uh, let's go. Week five. If Cincinnati Kyler comes Bengals. back, Cincinnati's gonna crush them, right? Mm-hmm. Um. Rams. Uh, oof. I don't know. If Kyler's full, fully ready, but the team's at full strength at LA, I gotta see what the what the Rams do in the off season as far as getting talent again because they fell apart so fast. They went from winning a Super Bowl to a terrible team so fast. Yeah, they gave up the the farm to do that, but anyone would do that. You yeah, know, if you're telling me, hey, we haven't won in thirty years or ever. Mm-hmm. We can sell the farm right now, but you know the next five years are going to suck. Years since '99 with Kurt Warner. Well, I'm just saying other teams, not just the Rams, but like say yeah. the Cardinals who never won. Well, say if you knew that the Lions to yeah. get the Super Bowl win, we're sacrificing next year. We're sacrificing <laughs> the next five years. We're trading future draft picks, future money. Mm-hmm. You'd say yes if if you had a good chance. Not even guaranteed. Like a, if you had an eighty percent chance, you could win the Super Bowl. Well, if you win a Super Bowl, no one can take that away from you. You can exactly. always have that. You can always look back, just like the Jets with Joe Namath. Mm-hmm. At least we won a Super Bowl. You talk to the Jets fan. Well, at least we won a Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. You're right. So, Rams. I'll, I'll have to see what they come. Rams. Up with. The, okay, so that's one game. I'm gonna put it down that we might be able to beat the Rams. Seahawks. No. No. Ravens. Oh my God! No. They're gonna get crushed. <laughs> it's here at home. It's gonna be a bad loss. So no. It's gonna. Oh my goodness! That might be the first game I actually place a bet. I think they'll just get crushed. Yeah. Um, Cleveland Browns. Ooh, at Cleveland, I think we have a chance there. 
I'd say we maybe. So that's maybe I have two to look wins. at what Cleveland has again. Yeah, they have that Watson guy. So just send some girls sure. to his hotel room to get massages. We're good. Well, the thing, Cleveland Browns has always had a terrible reputation. But they just can't win games. No matter how much good talent no much, they get. How much talent they get, they can't win, correct? They, I just don't get it. They, they get talent and then it just falls apart. Like, it's probably an organization thing. Yeah, 100%. Um, All right, so. Atlanta Falcons. I think that's a winnable game. Where is it at? Here, home? Yeah, winnable game. Okay, Houston Texans. Where is it at Houston? No, I think Houston wins that. That's at Houston. Rams again. I, it could go one on one. I'd say that. All right, it should go one on one for the Rams. We'll win at home. We'll lose at LA. They'll somehow manage to lose the bye week. Just kidding. Oh, you forgot Pittsburgh above the bye week. Oh, I did. Uh, Pittsburgh? No. Pittsburgh's going to win. It'll be like Baltimore. That's just going to crush them. No. no. And then right after the bye week, they're fully. You know, they're ready to go. They're going to get stomped again. And then they remember, yep, this is how it feels to lose. So, no. It's a late bye week, yeah. too. Bears. I think there's a chance against the Bears. There's a chance. So, I'll put them on for a win, maybe. At Philadelphia. Yeah. That's probably going to be like 48 to 0. <laughs> no. Yeah, it's going to be <laughs> It's going to be so bad. Oh, I don't know. I think I just might take a day off and not watch that game. Uh, and Seahawks finish it. And they'll lose at home versus the Seahawks. One, two, three. I have them going four. Four wins? Four wins. Possibly anywhere from two to four wins. Was Maybe two four to five. Four two and thirteen? Two, two to five. Four and thirteen. At best, huh? And they have Houston's pick, so they could have two top five picks. Do you package those two to get the number one overall and get Caleb Williams? Caleb Williams is going to be a stud. USC I would quarterback. change this. Up. Would you change everything we just said if the Cardinals got a new quarterback? Like who? Not Kyler Murray, a decent quarterback. No, they'll lose more games maybe. Do you already have a pissed off DeAndre Hopkins because no one's throwing him the ball? He's mad. He's double teamed. They don't have a good number two receiver. I get it. You know, you had all those cushy years that you were getting your stats blown up, and now you don't have a quarterback that can see over the line, and you're getting no good passes. Mm -hmm. So, no. Like, they fell off. They fell off big time. Remember, the Cardinals picked Josh Rosen. Remember him? Yeah, he, I thought that was a his good— His nickname was the chosen one. I thought he was—I was full, too. I thought he was going to be Everyone. really good. Like, he was a number, pick, number 10 pick. Did, did you know he was a freshman Pac-12 player of the year? Yes, as actually, a freshman, mm -hmm. everyone thought he was like I said, the chosen one. It was his nickname. Mm -hmm. Tenth overall by the Cardinals. They went three and thirteen. What did they do right after? They picked Kyler Murray. They got rid of him, and the coach. Yep, coach was only there for a year. I think Liner was a tenth overall as well. Yeah, I think so. I liked Liner too. He just did not do well. They didn't have a, whole, a team, good enough team around Liner either, though. Kurt Warren stepped in and took him to the Super Bowl with the same team. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm stupid. Liner got demoted. Kurt Warner took over. Oh, that it was that year. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm thinking of someone else then. Maybe I'm thinking of Josh Rosen. But Rosen, I mean, Rosen. yeah, that's a – that was unfortunate. Yeah, too. I remember so many Cardinal fans were excited for that, and I was excited for him. I, I was, was like, too. cool, this guy's like legit quarterback. You got him in the 10th Brown? He would have been picked up earlier. Well, they were saying he was a top three pick. Mm-hmm. But the quarterback for USC got picked before him, number one overall. They said that him or either one of those guys would have been number one overall. Mm -hmm. But hindsight, man, that's 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 life of the NFL, right? You get a, someone that you're high on, he ends up not, he ends up being a bust. Oh, Josh Rosen, Rosen goes to Miami and plays there a year, and they have they suck. And what happens? Following year, they pick up Tua. Mm. So if you're a team struggling, you might want to get Josh Rosen so you guys can struggle more and get that quarterback that you really want, franchise quarterback. Don't you think? I mean, that that's not, it happened twice. The third time's a charm. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching our clip. If you want to see more clips like this and you like our views, like the show, click here for some more clips. If you want to hear the whole podcast, watch the whole podcast, click here for the whole podcast. Remember, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll get back to you. Thank you, and have a great day.